there's a whole subplot where he's trying to sell people on this joke he wrote about a fucking talking peacock, and they never let that one fucking drop. But Jugs, his wife and daughter died or something, and he's feeling suicidal. And we know he's like a hard-edged dude because he wears sunglasses and shit and drinks beer. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> they, they want to take him out on, on vacation, help him reconnect with God or whatever. And so they take a private little plane, and they're flying. The plane goes down in the middle of nowhere, Texas, in this, in this village that happens to be run by Satanists, it turns out. And these Satanists have all these children around, and they're trying to, they're going to steal their souls or something like that. And Jugs sees a, a girl that looks like his daughter, apparently. But there's all these uncomfortable scenes where he's just kind of checking out this underage girl, and she says stuff to him like, I love mm -hmm. you and stuff like that. And it's just like, man, what the fuck is going on here? And, and they, they just kind of keep running with it. And the whole town is giving off these, we're going to murder you vibes. And yet just the same when they invite them out, to, uh, you know, the townsfolk that were acting like they were just going to uh, stab them to death before invite them to a festival later in the evening. Uh, the comic relief guy is like, what are you, the Golden Girls? Let's go out and have some fun. And the other guys are like, oh, okay. So they go out, <laughs> they're giving some spiked punch, and they uh, they pass out. And nothing really more happens to them as far as I could tell. They just gave them this spiked punch, and they fucking pass out. And then they talk to Chuck Norris, who turns out to be an angel. And Chuck Norris is <laughs> like, you're here for a reason. And uh, and the guys are like, we got to get out of here. And Jugs is like, no, we have to save these kids. And then Chuck Norris is like, you're right. You're here to save these kids. So then they talk about it and they do like this montage, like, like it's taking these guys like fucking hours to decide whether they're going to save these kids or not, even though they're <laughs> they're convinced that they're on a mission from God to do just that. They're just like. Do we really want to do this shit or what? And then saving the kids seems to consist of just walking across the town like hard asses and suddenly nobody can stop them or some fucking thing <laughs> like that. And then they just kind of march over and I don't know. Then what? They walk off into the horizon and some biblical verse pops on the screen and we see Chuck Norris nod at head. Yeah, that's about it. There was, there was so a, you're telling yeah, me that was the I story. I guess, I guess I got it right. This is one of the worst fucking Why? movies of all time. So Chuck Norris was an angel. Chuck Norris yeah. was an angel. Sure yeah. So why did he look? Did he look way that... like a horse had been because he was like he was a redneck angel, 